Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea and today we're going to be doing our meditation and lesson about not stealing and gratitude. And our story today comes from us from Zen Shorts. There's a few different stories in here and this is one of the very first ones. Michael, there's a bear outside, said Carl. A what? called Michael. A bear. He's really big and he's in the backyard. What's he doing? Michael asked. Uh, he's sitting. He has an umbrella, said Carl. An umbrella? By the time the boys got outside, their sister Addie was already talking with him. I am sorry for arriving unannounced, said the bear. The wind carried my umbrella all the way from my backyard to your backyard. I thought I would retrieve it before it became a nuisance. He spoke with a slight panda accent. Michael introduced himself, then Addie introduced Carl because Carl was shy around bears he didn't know. And this is how Addie, Michael, and Carl met Stillwater. The next day, Addie went to have tea with Stillwater. Hello, Addie said as she stepped inside. Come in, come in, a faraway voice called. Then she heard the voice say, oh yes, come out, come out. Stillwater was in the backyard. He was in a tent. This is a birthday present from my Uncle Rye, Stillwater said. He always gives presents on his birthday to celebrate the day he was born. I like it so much that I'm not say staying in my house right now. Stillwater invited Addie to sit with him. You brought me some cake, said Stillwater. That was very nice of you. Is it your birthday, he asked. Uh, no, said Addie. It's not mine either, said Stillwater. But let me give you a gift for my uncle's birthday. I will tell you a story. Uncle Rye and the Moon. Uncle Rye lived alone in a small house up in the hills. He didn't own many things. He lived a simple life. One evening, he discovered he had a visitor. A robber had broken into the house and was rummaging through my uncle's few belongings. The robber didn't notice Uncle Rye, and when my uncle said, hello, the robber was so startled that he almost fell down. My uncle smiled at the robber and shook his hand. Welcome, welcome, how nice of you to visit. The robber opened his mouth to speak, but he couldn't think of anything to say. Because Rye never lets anyone leave empty-handed, he looked around the tiny hut for a gift for the robber, but there was nothing to give. The robber began to back toward the door. He wanted to leave. At last, Uncle Rye knew what to do. He took off his only robe, which was old and tattered. Here, he said, please take this. The robber thought my uncle was crazy. He took the robe, dashed out the door, and escaped into the night. My uncle sat and looked at the moon, its silvery light spilling over the mountains, making all things quietly beautiful. Poor man, lamented my uncle. All I had to give him was my tattered robe. If only I could have given him this wonderful moon. Your uncle sounds nice, said Addie. I don't think I could have given away my only robe. I know how that is, said Stillwater, but there's always the moon. And that's where we're going to end the story today. So I have a few questions for you, for you and your family to talk about. Feel free to pause the video so that you can talk about them if you'd like. What did the story tell us about how we should treat people who steal from us? Which thing does the bear value more? What he owns or sharing the moon? How do you think the robber that was the raccoon felt when the person he was stealing from tried to give him even more? Do you think that it is stealing to pick a flower from someone's yard without asking them? How about picking flowers in the woods? What about the insects and the birds who need those flowers? Is it okay to take a toy that you found in the park? How about taking a long shower 
if our earth is having a hard time giving us the water that we need right now. And those are all the questions I have. Next, we're going to do a meditation. And so if you get yourselves ready by starting to find a seat or a place that you can lay down on the ground and get comfortable, then we will get started with our meditation. Our meditation today is called the thankful turtle. And we'll listen to our bell and then we'll get started. Let's take a moment and simply feel happy and thankful. Noticing what we appreciate makes our hearts feel so very full. It also gives us deep peace and joy. So let your eyes close if they're not already. Let your body feel heavy and allow yourself to just relax naturally. Take in a few deep breaths and exhale slowly as you begin to relax your body fully. Now, imagine an extremely cute and cuddly little cartoon turtle. He's not real, of course, but I'm sure you can see him very clearly in your mind. He can stand on his back legs and he has little turtle flippers, big eyes, a funny nook nose and a silly smile. You see a twinkle in his eye? This is the thankful turtle. Isn't he adorable? The thankful turtle is here to remind us of all the things we have to be thankful for, even when our days are sometimes rough. First of all, the little happy turtle reminds you that you woke up this morning. Thank goodness you woke up to a beautiful day of life, a life that holds adventures and many surprises. You think to yourself how very thankful you are that you simply woke up and had the opportunity to experience the day. You also learned things today. Maybe your day was wonderful. Also, maybe your day was difficult, but either way, you know more today than you did yesterday. And the thankful turtle reminds you that you can be grateful for all of life's lessons, great and small. And for that, he does a little happy dance and you feel happiness dance in your own heart. Thankful turtle looks at you with a gleam in his eye now and smiles as he looks up at your strong body. You're reminded that your body has moved and breathed for you today. Your body is truly a miracle. You imagine your hands and feet and how active they've been today and doing all that you've done. It's so wonderful to experience all the things you've experienced today and the places you've been. Even if you stayed home today, you have still traveled many places in your imagination, right? And you're thankful for this thankful turtle does another little happy dance and that makes you giggle. He reminds you of all there is to be grateful for in life. Big things and the small things too. Thankful turtle reminds you about your family and friends who care deeply for you. These people love you just because you are you. You feel so good in your heart knowing that you are loved and cared for. Life is so much better when we take time to be grateful for all we have and all we experience. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes and give your body a great big stretch, or maybe you can just drift off to sleep. But let's listen to our bell and then we'll come back from our meditation.
And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a good week, everyone. Bye.